everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 21st and the 28th of September 2019. Happy autumnal or vernal equinox wherever you are upon the globe. We're heading on to the uh, autumnal equinox on the northern side of the globe and the vernal equinox on the southern part of this globe. If you are on the southern part of this globe, you are experiencing a blooming. You are experiencing a time of excitement and, and, and uh, looking forward to the experiences and the warmth of the summer. Hopefully looking forward to the warmth of the summer. Here in Israel, it's not always something that we anticipate positively. <laughs> as it is a little hot but um, if you are in the northern hemisphere this is a time of recoiling inwards this is a time of preparation this is a time of recalibration and attunement not only a personal one but also a collective one communities would stand through the winter as winter was coming together um, before I even go on, I want to remind everybody that new beginner groups and intermediate groups are opening up a webinar style through the internet. You can study with me from wherever you are and they start in about three weeks. So if you want to contact me, we're halfway in filling our group. Um, I would love to hear from you, give you the prices and details and hopefully be your tutor to the ether and the skies so this week begins with a grand beautiful cross in the sky grand beautiful uh, square in the sky that is composed from the sun and mars on one hand opposed by neptune squared by the moon and jupiter series on the last point of that square so if we take that Jupiter and Neptune, both rulers of Pisces and Sagittarius, emphasizer of the greater, uh, the greater universe and, and nature and God as an idea, as a philosophy, that connection to something that is uncorrupted, that was there before words, before the, the, the left part of our brain took over that is purer and more ancient and as I said before uncorrupted and that longing to reconnect to that womb that universal womb again and on the one hand <laughs> on the one hand we can feel as if shut up bro sorry we can feel as if we are lost right now and things are fluctuating and, and mutating so fast that we're not really sure what the right direction is. Nevertheless, like I told you before and I'm telling you again, if the droplets don't understand that they make up the waves, they make up the currents, they make up the oceans, indeed the sea will remain ever salty and we have a saying in Judaism and we are approaching the Jewish New Year coming in about a week from today on the uh, uh, usually around the vernal uh, uh, around the autumnal equinox and it's a time of recalibration it's a time of New Year resolutions it's a time of thinking about how we need to recalibrate and make it through this universe in a better, more hygienic way through the next 12 months. And there's a saying in Judaism that says, if you are aware, indeed, if you are sure of our power, of men's power to destroy, to corrupt, then indeed be as sure, believe as strongly 
and the power of mankind to heal and correct. And I find that so inspiring, especially at times like these, that for people who are aware are overwhelming. All we want to do when we see all this continuous suffering and malfunction with everything around us, you know? I have a small child, she's two and a half years old, and she knows to recognize every kind of beep coming from the street. When is that a truck? When is that a siren? Oh, daddy, you see, it's a crane. Unfortunately, she does not mean the bird. She means a crane that builds buildings. How corrupted is that? How divergent is that? We still have in all of our children's books, in all of their children's books, still the new ones coming out today, you know, all these cute farms and here's a ship and here's a goat and here's a, 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 a cow and the tractor is going by and everything is green. Well, guess what? They're, they're not going to see these things anymore because they don't exist. They're a memory. Have no doubt that we have the ability to heal and correct as strongly as we do to corrupt and destroy. And remember that, not only for mankind as a whole, remember that for yourself as a person. Remember that for yourself through your daily motions. Don't give in. Don't give up. Don't sell yourself short. Don't underestimate the beautiful, amazing gift that you are, that you hold. Breathe in. Breathe out. That's it. You're still here. Now what are you going to do with that? Anyway, so, 21st, Saturday, Grand Mutable Square in the Sky, goes on to Sunday the 22nd. It's a day of judgment. It's a day that if our judgment were right in the past, it could come and pay its dues, you know. We could get our uh, uh, um, stature and, 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 um, and raise at that time from the universe or we could get uh, we could be found lacking you know and, and, and things that were not as ethical or not as you know um, rooted in the grounds of reality are going to bite us in our little cute asses <laughs> so Mercury is squaring Saturn we have to be careful not to be too staunch judges harsh judges critical judges ourselves it's a moon square Chiron day as well so <clears throat> Sunday the 22nd is sensitive Monday the 23rd is still a sensitive day it's the uh, equinox day excuse me a second coffee addict here so Monday the 23rd uh, equinox day the sun is moving into the sign of Libra happy birthday all you beautiful beautiful Libras I love you we all seek out more the satisfaction that can come the comfort that can come the sense of equilibrium that can be drawn from community communal habitating, from our relationships, from interacting with other people in our life, from working communally together on something or toward, toward something. But it's not that we heighten that sense of equilibrium. No, the sense of lack 
is heightened so we could search for that equilibrium more staunchly. Um, it's a time that melancholy is always a part of it because we could remember a lot of the things that have happened in the past, a lot of our past mistakes, and we could, or, or we need to be um, aware, not, as I said before, to belittle ourselves or weaken ourselves or sell our, ourselves short telling ourselves that we cannot change, that we cannot do better. In fact, only by thinking about these things right now, you are already in a better process of, you know, uh, critically and, and logically and, and, and uh, calmly assessing your best moves. Um, with relationships, Monday the 23rd, could be a little stressful and emotions can grow a little higher and more dramatic as that day progresses watch out from any obsessive thoughts especially at night time I'm talking Eastern European time if you are in the United States take it about eight nine hours before so it would be the morning of the 23rd and if you are in the Pacific it would be early morning of the 24th in the Pacific, I mean by Australia and Sydney and stuff. So Tuesday the 24th, beautiful day, a great day to enjoy yourself, a great day to be positive about things, to be flexible about things. Don't be too um, uncalculated. Don't be too hasteful. Um, stop to pause and think about things. And the same goes for Wednesday the 25th. It could be a fun day and both Wednesday and Tuesday are both good for signing deals, contracts, agreements and, and, and having great brilliant ideas basically um, with that Mercury receiving a beautiful sextile from Jupiter and the Moon being in Leo, sextiling uh, Venus at the time and trining Jupiter. Lucky day. Could be a lucky day. However, within relationships, uh, these are times of judgment, you know. It could be also a time of judgment when it comes to um, your paycheck and, 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 uh, and your job and income and stuff like that. Actually, there is a belief in Judaism has nothing to do with astrology that as the year draws to an end you know there's somebody sitting in heaven and saying okay so uh, Mr. Levi he, he needs to get about 500 I see he spent to uh, so and 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 and, and John John uh, Cohen he wanted a, 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 a fruit grinder very much and the year is drawing to an end and I think he deserves it and so on and there's this you know, uh, uh, um, settling of debts going on, you know. So if you were acting in a way that was unaligned, this is the time you're going to pay for it more. If you were acting in a great way, this is the time you're going to actually be paid for it. You know, you're going to get those benefits. And, and that correlates actually with all these Saturnian aspects going over Mercury, going over uh, Venus at that time, um, squaring Venus at that time. And Saturn doesn't care whether you are afraid of something or whether you wish for something. It judges it as it is. And if you're found uh, that you've done a good job, it's going to be very beneficial for you and if not less so um, Tuesday the 26th be flexible enjoy yourself try not to look at too much at the small details and the same goes for Friday the 27th it's a great day though for progressing things that are career oriented and uncovering hidden truth understanding yourself on a deeper level understanding your inner strength more just knowing not to overindulge and knowing when to stop and be calculated in general is a good thing 
on Friday, the 27th. Saturday, the 28th, is a new moon. And remember, every new moon is a time of imprinting. So on Friday, on Saturday, and on Sunday, enhance your calm. <laughs> every feeling that passes through you and your aura is imprinted, is going to follow you throughout the next lunar cycle. So, try to be as calm and pleased about existence as possible. It is a new moon in the fifth degree of Libra. Um, that day the moon is also conjunct Mars. So, it's a very feisty new moon and it fights for peace and equilibrium. It's fight, it fights for balance. It says make love not war, <laughs> you know, but it could be quite... Um, aggressive about that um, other than that it is a time to draw together and as we are drawing together it is a time to see more holistically the different viewpoints or how the different viewpoints and the different corners make a greater more complete circle all around and um, I want to remind you that we're still looking for people for my online groups and contact me all the details are in the slide at the end of this video and thank you for watching this may you all may we all live long and prosper